All right, welcome everybody to Diamond Zone. Happy, happy, what day is this? Is this Wednesday? It's Wednesday, wow. Happy Wednesday, everybody, everybody. and uh, so excited, and I will say this, if yesterday was any indication of where this next two weeks is going to go, uh, we're going to be all stinking rich. <laughs> so it, it was an un unbelievable start uh, of the pay cycle, and uh, kind of anticipating that, but now, obviously, what we have to do is hold the momentum. But uh, I do want to say kudos to everybody out there. I mean, you, you guys are working. And it's amazing what happens when you make a commitment and, and you just start doing the necessary things to build your business. And, and the mindset and the energy that I feel from the field, you, you just can't deny what, what's going on. I mean, the number of three-way calls that are happening. And here's, here's when you really know you start to really duplicate. The number of launch calls leaders are now doing for their team. People now stepping out of the box and going, you know what? I'm gonna do my own launch calls. I'm doing my own three-way calls. And you know what that means, guys? It means people are taking responsibility for their business. Taking responsibility for their business. It's called ownership. And when you take ownership of your business, you know what happens? It's over. That's when you know you've turned the corner within your business. Now, that's not saying if you're still relying on other people to help you, that's okay. That's your learning curve. But understand, there's nothing magical here, guys. I was listening to Lisa um, last yesterday when she was doing the Diamond Zone call. And she was just talking about, you know what, just reading the slides, you know, going through the presentation, just doing it with, with excitement. It's amazing when you do something with excitement, someone can feel your energy. Someone can't deny the fact, and I'm just using myself as an example, okay? No one could deny the fact that I'm not excited when I do a presentation. And I, I want to transfer that excitement because here's the deal. It's genuine. It's genuine, and here's what I want you to know. Are you excited about this journey? Then you should be doing as many presentations as possible. If you're not excited about, about your journey and where you are, you gotta go back to what's on your screen. And I know you've seen it 10,000 times, but you're gonna see it 10,000 more because this is the business. This, this, this is what we do. When you find your why, it, it should elicit, is that the right word? It, it should promote or it, it, um, excite your, 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 your desire. When you find your why, when you find your why, the excitement comes. Because now you know why you're doing it. And most people now, they found their why. And you know what they're saying? Because I'm hearing it from you guys. Why not me? And I'm telling you what happens when you hit that first ranking of diamond. It changes, it changes your whole vision of your future. You know why? Because you put the necessary effort in to get a result. I'm telling you, if I made Pete a diamond today, if I called up Pete today and said, Pete, welcome, look at, look in your back office, Pete, right now. I want you to look in your back office and you're a diamond. That has no value to Pete. It would have no value, okay, because he didn't do it. But if Pete does the necessary things and goes through the hard work and the commitment and he achieves what he wanted to achieve, forget about it. It's over. And this is what I want you guys to understand about the commitment you're all making. You're all making a commitment during this two weeks to put forth the effort. Now here's the thing, what if you don't hit where you wanna go? Now you know what happens? You've learned what effort you put in to get you to where you wanna be. And you've built a foundation so the next pay cycle, it'll be much easier. You know why? Because you have more people. So I just wanna get your head right, guys. Okay, this two week pay cycle, okay, I'm telling you is gonna change people's lives what we do over the next two weeks i'm telling you will set the foundation for the future 
of your career with World Global Network. I promise you. You know why? Because you've made that commitment. Most of you. Okay. If you haven't made the commitment, then you know what? It goes back to this slide. It always goes back to this slide. It always does. And here's what I want you to know. Here's when you know you got the fever. When you wake up or, or you can't wait to wake up. I'm telling you, this is what's been happening to me. I'm laying there. Can I go to bed? You know what I'm thinking to myself? Okay. And I set my alarm. And my, when I set my alarm to a certain time, which is five in the morning, it tells me how many hours it is till five in the morning. And you may think this is corny, but I'm telling you what happens to me every morning, every day. It goes six hours and 22 minutes. Depends what time I go to bed, right? And I'm thinking to myself, as soon as I lay on that pillar, pillow, I can't, pillar, I can't wait to get up. Okay, that may sound crazy to all of you, but I'm telling you, and all of a sudden, then I wake up at like four. I look at the clock and go, oh my God, only an hour and 20 more minutes. Okay, and you're thinking, you're crazy. Yes, I am crazy. Because I understand what we're all sitting on top of. I get it. I understand it. And then I, 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 I'm going out there and every minute of every day, right, we're focused in on being the time a lot of you don't have. We're focused in on bringing in our new business. We're focused in on our launches. This is when you know you've arrived. And I know some of you, you have other sources of income, and, 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 but you have to be thinking about this during the day when you're doing what you don't want to do. This is when you know your why is in place, okay? Now, before I get into what I want to get into, because I always go off track, it's amazing, okay? <clears throat> Las Vegas, okay? I know, Las Vegas, June 23rd, 24th, guys, get your tickets. Now, since we've opened it up to other people within World Global Network, this is filling up fast, guys. You don't want to miss this. Okay, this will be a sold out event. So I'm, I'm telling you, th this is going to be, in my opinion, and I've said it many times, I believe this is the start, okay, of really our company. Okay, I, I really do. And I know what's going to happen after coming out of Vegas over the next six months with all the new announcements, with all the new enhancements. Can you imagine coming out on an event after two days and all of a sudden, here comes more apps that you're able to download. Here comes the new Infolio phone. And what are we all looking forward to, right? The launch of the blood glucose in the fourth quarter. Do you understand what's about to happen? Okay, you should be all jumping up and down and waving your hands, okay? Because not you, Jenna, okay? <laughs> because that is, that's the excitement behind this. This is how I play head games with myself, guys. Because I'm always looking forward to what, what, what we're going to all be able to, to do together. All right. So remember, Las Vegas. Um, now, what I want to go into is, is really the mentality of going all in. Okay. And we, when you understand why you're doing this, right, it then gives you permission to go all in. And, and the permission is everything that's led you up to where you are today, whatever it is. Okay, for me, it was working 12 to 14 hour days for 14 years, working for somebody else. And I always use that in the back of my head. If I find something not going as well as I want it to go with my world global business um, opportunity, because let's face it, guys, is everything always rosy every minute of every day? Of course not. What if I get derailed with a phone call from a, from a distributor saying, I'm about to quit? Okay, and I have maybe two or three things that happen during the day. Maybe two or three people say no to me, right? Maybe somebody else has another thing. Here's what I've learned. All distractions are equal. And nobody's, uh, nobody's distractions are going to be mine. But you know what? I still have that when people start doing that, and I might get three or four bad situations in a row because it happens, does it not? You know what I always do? I go back to what it was like working for somebody else. I go back to 14 hour days. I go back to being held accountable to quotas, to my quotas being increased, 
to not being paid what I was worth, to being a prisoner of when I could go to the bathroom, when I could take my vacations. And then all of a sudden, the two or three bad things that happened over here have no power over me. It's amazing. Because I know, I know my worst day here. Listen, everybody. My worst day here is better than my best day in corporate America. My worst day is better than my best day over there. This is how I keep, I'm trying to show you because as you take this journey, which a lot of you now have made the commitment to do, as you take this journey, okay, I will tell you, okay, you will be challenged. You will be challenged. You're going to understand that your excitement sometimes is not other people's excitement. What you see is not something they see. And this is why you always got to go back to, okay, your passion and where you want to take this business. Okay, now. Having said that, okay, you understand that you have to develop the mindset of success and your burning desire comes from your why. And I want you all for what I'm going to take five second pause. I want you to understand this. What is your burning desire? Do me a favor. Take the time right now. Go to your chat and tell me what's fueling you. What's your burning desire? Let me see. Take, take your time, but write it down. Why are you doing this? What makes you get up in the morning? What's going to make you make that extra phone call today? What's going to make you call that chicken list? What's going to make you schedule that launch call? What is it going to be for you? What's going to make you be available for your downline when they need you to do a three-way call? Okay, I see people starting to write, and I appreciate that. What is your burning desire? Because when you have that burning desire, it's over. It's over. And, 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 and you know what? Sometimes this is the biggest part of your journey, guys. Let me look at you all. Okay? Sometimes this is the biggest part of your journey. And sometimes this, was, this is what took me two years to develop. Don't let that happen to you. It took me two years to develop a true burning desire and burning the boat that's a fact two years now lisa was making money but i was playing around i didn't find my burning desire i was working out i was playing basketball i was getting massages every day i was the first one to pick up our kids i dropped them off i was home at four o'clock right but i didn't find a burning desire two years Two years, and I see. I appreciate everybody writing down their burning desire. We still got a lot more to go because you got 80 people on, okay? But you got to find it, guys. My burning desire came from after not, after not experiencing corporate America, the thought of going back to something that I finally got out of created my burning desire for success. I all of a sudden figured out after being around multi-level marketing people that were successful, how the heck is corporate America going to pay me what I'm worth? But I had to get around it. And this is why I say you got to get around it. That's why I appreciate this group every day. You're around it. That's why I say get to Vegas because you're going to be around it. And that becomes contagious. And you start thinking, you know what? Making $20,000 a week isn't really that difficult. But if you, go, if you go out in the open market and say, I'm going to look for a job for $20,000 a week, what do you think your options are going to be? What do you think your options are going to be if you had to put your skill set on a resume to get $10,000 a month? You think those jobs grow on trees? And then you look over here and you go, wait a minute, you got people making, and this is where it gets nuts. You got people making 100,000 to 200,000 a week. And then you look at them and this is nothing bad against them, but you're going, I, you should be saying, if they can do it, I can do it. And you're probably asking yourself, what's the difference? You want to know what the difference is, everybody? Burning desire. I put the word burning for a reason, not just desire. 
It's like, it's like saying, I want something. Oh, I want that. No, 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 no. Do you desire it? Do you have a burning desire to get it? Everybody wants everything. I want more money. I want to be in shape, right? I want this. I want that. No, do you desire it? There's the difference between the people that you see on stage versus the people that are sitting in the rafters. The people in the rafters go, okay, I want to be where they are. What have they done? That's what everybody says. What they've done is they found their desire, period, period, okay? Then once you have that, you got to be willing to do whatever it takes. I got to be willing to burn the boat. I got to be willing to make the commitment. I got to be willing to do things I'm uncomfortable with. Where do you think you make more money? Doing the comfortable and natural things or the uncomfortable and unnatural things? You make money in the uns, the uncomfortable, the unnatural, the unbelievable. And you got to be willing to go through the uns. How do you make the uncomfortable comfortable? Just talk to somebody who ever started an exercise program that stuck with it. When you start working out, it's uncomfortable. It's unnatural. Your body's screaming saying, this is unbelievable. But when you exercise enough, it becomes uncomfortable not to exercise. But you got to be willing to go through what? Whatever growing pains you're going to have to go through. And you know what I love about this business? Really, what's the growing pains? Sending out a text message? Making some phone calls? Going through some no's? But here's what I'm talking about. It's not the action steps. It's being willing to do things you never thought you can do. Let me give you an example, okay? Jeff, I can't get to Vegas. Okay. No, no, Jeff, really, let me explain to you why. I, I, it's, yeah, I don't, you're not trying to explain to me. You explained yourself. I understand sometimes it's difficult, but I'm going to be willing to figure it out. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, it's easy to do things when things are comfortable. I want you to challenge yourself when something's uncomfortable. Let me give you another example. You're sitting there and you got your chicken list and you go, I can't call this person. I don't know what to say. And you start to sweat. Being willing to go the extra mile to call that person. Being willing to figure it out. Being willing to hold yourself accountable to your goals. Being willing to say, you know what? I'm going to make a two-week run. I'm going to work as hard as I can, and I'm going to let the results be what the results are. But I'm going to be willing to at least do it. You, do you know what that means? Do you, know how, do you know how you should applaud yourself just by taking the journey? That is huge. Most people won't even take the journey. They'll just go through the motions, and they'll let all distractions, all distractions, um, take them away from what they want to accomplish. I'm going to say it again, guys. All distractions are equal. Makes no difference what they are. You got to find your focus. So that's what you have to be willing. And then you got to be, obviously, teachable. Desire, will, and teachable. Desire, will, and teachable. Being dumb enough to be smart enough to listen and just follow the program. Even when the program doesn't work for you, the hardest part for a lot of people is being teachable, especially people who've had success. Wait a minute. I've been successful. Yes, yeah, success transfers, but transfer it over to our system. That's all. And you got to be excited, genuine. Every time I do a presentation, every time I do a, a three-way call, Every time I talk to somebody, I'm sincerely excited. And from my excitement will come the truth. If I do a presentation, I tell people the good and the bad. I, had, I did a three-way call last night with somebody, okay? And, and, and the person said, tell me what's wrong with the business. And I told him. I was very straightforward, but I was excited when I told him. And you know what he said? I appreciate that. I'm in. Be excited, guys. Does it make a difference? When you're excited, 
Okay, you want people to catch that excitement from you. People know. Don't you know when someone is just saying words and someone isn't? Don't you know when someone's really passionate or someone just going through the motions? Don't you think people are doing that to you? They're not really into it. Had a conversation with somebody else yesterday. I said, let me tell you something. I said, you are probably the best marketing person I've ever met. You have the most desire, right? And you're competitive. I could, but can I tell you what your miss is? You're the jack of all trades, right? but you're not focused on any one thing. This person's involved in three or four different things and I see it on Facebook and, and I see what they market. I go, if you had a, so, a singular focus, you can't be stopped. I said, if you're not making $10,000 a week in 90 days here, something's wrong. And guess what? You've been involved 90 days and you haven't even hit a ranking. But before I gave that person this advice, I asked the permission. I said, do I have permission to let you know what I see? Yes, Jeff, I do. And let me tell you what I see. It's, it's, it's letting people know because I want people to know I care. Do people know you care or do people just see dollar signs in your eyes that you're just trying to get them? I don't try to get anybody. I speak with excitement, enthusiasm, and if they're open, they will make a decision. That's it. So don't worry about the people that don't. If you're doing all the right things, the right people just do, guys. You just gotta go through the numbers. That's the problem. We wanna talk to one person and get them involved, and then we stop. No, I, I, I'm here every single minute of every single day with an 18 month commitment to go through my numbers with a burning desire, willing to do whatever I have to do, being teachable and being excited about my journey. That's it. Because vision is where it is, right? God knows we're all selling vision, right? When we first got started with zero customer service, shipping was in shambles. Right, it's getting better, it's not perfect yet, but I had to talk about the vision. But you know what, I get so excited every time I go on Facebook, I see people getting their product delivered. Vision's coming true. I see customer service now up and operating in, in, in Plano, uh, Utah. Vision's coming true. I listen to Fabio Galdi talk about the where we're going as a company. Things are starting to come true. It's, it's paid off to be the pioneer. It's paying off to be the pioneer. You gotta have the same vision for people. But you wanted to also let people know, okay, that you know what, here's why I'm doing this. And it goes back to your desire. You gotta understand your desire is their desire. Have the vision, guys. Go the extra mile. This is what we asked everybody to do. Right, you know the, the Kentucky Derby, right? when they first come out of the starting gates, right? Everybody's just kind of galloping. Then they get to the quarter pole, they get to the halfway point, they get to the three quarter pole and they go to the whip, right? They go to the whip because they wanna now win the race. This is what we asked everybody to do over this two week period. Go into the whip, go in the extra mile. That's what we're talking about. This is where we're at right now. Day two of going the extra mile doing what most people won't do. That's what I love about this, okay? And then problem solving. Oh, a lot of us are good at this one, aren't we? Let me tell you something about how to make a lot of money. You guys ready? Let me take my video off. The more problems you have, the more money you make. The more problems you have, the more money you make. You wanna know why? Every new person gets involved because they have a problem to solve. Their problems, if you sponsor them, become your problems. And we wanna solve their problems. So we have a group of people that we're sponsoring that have problems to solve, right? And you would hope the problems are big enough that it promotes this burning desire. But what is the most frustrating part of our business? 
knowing people have problems to solve, but even after they make the decision, they don't want to do the necessary things to solve their problems. They rather complain. Am I not right? How about all the people that don't make the decision? You know they have problems to solve. How many people want something on that globe that I show? Right, remember, own your own business, immediate income, advancement opportunity, residual income. Who doesn't want that? Everybody wants it, but how many people desire it? So the way you get people to tap into that burning desire is you keep them in long enough to hopefully ignite whatever that's going to be for them to take the journey. And all I do is I understand the way you feel. I understand, Pete. I know where you are. Let's go to work. Then all of a sudden, Pete doesn't do what he's supposed to do. And I go back with Pete 30 days from now. Hey, Pete, how's it going, brother? And I'm just using Pete as an example. But see, if Pete stays in long enough, that's my goal. Keep him in long enough so they can catch fire. Or how about this one? What if Pete's not the one, but I keep him in long enough where he introduces me somebody else who does have the burning desire? See, I got 30 people that put their burning desire. One third of you. Isn't this amazing? Stop. Listen, everybody, watch. Watch. What do I train on? A third of the people you bring in will do nothing. A third will incubate and a third will go out there. And I don't even know who's, who's wrote it yet. And a third will build. What's, what's the, a third of 90? Look at, look, at the, man, look at the participants right now. And look at how many people have a chat. A third. Is that not crazy? Isn't it? I, I, do I make this up? I can't make this up. A third wrote down their burning desire. That means a third of you, I, I'm not being mean. I, I'll just leave it there because I'm, I'm going to put my foot in my mouth. Okay? <laughs> you are all successful because you're on this call. But I just want to point out that because it just, it just hit me. It just hit me. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Now it's going up a little bit. <laughs> All right. Now, now you got your, you got your why you got your mindset. I know you do now guys, we got to keep it simple. A lot of times in network marketing, right? We want to put authorship on things. Let me tell you the authorship. You know what I mean by authorship? I'm going to change the slides. I'm going to change the system. Let me tell you where your authorship has to come in. Your personality, your excitement. That's your authorship. I have certain things. I don't, I don't change the slides. I do the slides. I don't change two minute, five minute. I just insert my personality and my work ethic into it. Let me give you another story. Love this one. I was talking to somebody in my group. Hopefully this person's on. I never say names, but I talk about situations. Okay. And I said, this person is being very successful in some part of, how do I say it? Advertising. Advertising. Now, remember when I remember on, on Friday when I asked Fran to please uh, share with all of you what she's doing on LinkedIn? And Fran shared what she does on LinkedIn. No problem. She wasn't worried about someone's going to steal her LinkedIn magic message. Do you think there's a LinkedIn magic, magic message? No. So I said to this person, I said, listen, I know you're becoming successful on this one aspect. Will you show me how to do it? This is me asking them. And the person said, well, no, I don't want to really show you because you'll teach it. I said, what? He says, because you'll teach it to your group. I said, oh, okay. And I dropped it. I dropped it. Now understand, do you think anything's new? Really? Do you think anything out there is something that no one else has thought of? Let me take, let me take professional sports as an example. Let's take football for one, one example. Do you think there's any play, any, any defensive coordinator in the league hasn't seen? No. But who executes the play the best wins. You know, Vince Lombardi used to tell the other coach, here's the play we're going to run. Try to stop it. 
It's the same thing here. Really? You could give me, give, give me a program and give you the exact program. Exact program. And we're both going to do the same thing. Isn't that multi-level? Who gets better results? Well, if that's the case, how the hell are some people making a million a month and you're not? Same program. I said, you're, you're missing the boat, brother. This is about duplication. This is not about holding it to yourself. You'll never make the kind of money you want to make with that attitude. Okay, and I'm, I'm just being straight. We all have the same programs. Why do some people make no money and some people get rich? Because they do it and they keep it simple. And it starts with your approach. This is what most people have a problem doing in the beginning. What's my approach? Well, we've made the approach very simple. The invitation, right? Talking to people, that's a whole nother training. Saying hi, getting into conversations with people. All the different approaches you may have. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, warm market, people you meet, right? A Toastmasters, Amanka networking events, trade shows, you want me to keep going? Those are all the ways that you fill up your funnel and now you gotta have your approach. I don't care if it's business cards, it's third party tools, whatever it may be. It's sending people your, your, your two minute video, it's the presentation. But you know what the best presentation is? Your excitement, your enthusiasm. That's what gets people's attention. Right, we, let's say we all have the same tools and I'm doom and gloom and then you have somebody else who's excited and has a personality. Who gets better results? Do I wanna get involved with Mr. Doom and Gloom but he's got this two minute video and this person over here is excited as hell and he has the same two minute video. Who am I gonna go with? Do I want part of doom and gloom, dude? No. Hey, this is really fun. This is really exciting. I think it's gonna work. Here you go, watch this. Hey man, listen, I'm so excited. Man, we just got started with a company, category creator product. Man, I've never seen anything like this. I was working 14 years. I'm now supplementing my income. I'm looking for like-minded people looking to make a change. Who are you gonna go with? Right? So we all have the same tools, but you gotta be excited about what you're going. What's your, where, where you're going, I should say, right? So I got my approach. I got my third-party tools. That's the website. You could have business cards. Some of you have flyers. I'm not against any of those things. My point is be prepared every day. You never know who's in line next to you. You never know who's next to you at the trade show. You, you have to understand every person, there is an opportunity. It's being prepared. And then once you get the tools, you gotta move them very quickly into a commitment, right? Into a, maybe a three-way call, a live webinar or an event to get them more information. Here's what you have to have, a mindset to get people into the system quickly and give them the information as they wanna receive it. And you've seen Lisa do the training and we've done the training, right? It's getting commitments of when they're going to watch the video. Guys, let me tell you something. During this two-week period, follow-up is, follow is everything. Follow-up is everything. You're getting good. You're filling up your funnel. You're getting people onto webinars. But until you have that follow-up to find out if you have a yes or a no, right? That's the key. And then once you get them in, you got the training and the duplication that we, that we have every single day. That's why we do these calls. So the keep it simple system is in place for all of us, right? That, that health club is there and it's the same machines. Some people get tremendous results with those machines and some people go to the gym and they're members for three years and they don't lose a pound. So don't think your system is any, bi any big deal. Teach it, teach it. The one who does it the most wins. So when you understand that, okay, now, now you wanna launch your business and I'm, I'm not doing this, Lisa did a great job last yesterday. 
I, I just want to, I'm going to show you because I want your, the mindset right. Okay. Launching someone's business could be anything they want to do. I'm going to say that again. It's anything they want to do. But I'm going to give them options. Launch party, webinars. Okay. It could be in someone's home. I know we, I know we make fun of this, but what if someone said, you know what? Hey, Jeff, would you come over? I'm going to put five or six people at my house that I'm really excited about. We're going to have some wine. And would you mind, you know, maybe doing a, a 15 minute presentation? Would you do that to get in front of people? Now, I know a lot of us say, well, I would never do that. Well, I would do that. Now, is this part of our system? No, anywhere, anytime someone's going to put me in front of people, I'm going to do it. But I want to find out when I bring somebody in, what are they comfortable with? What are they willing to do? I, I can't make that person a network marketing guru day one. But if that person says, I got to give them the right direction, what's the right direction? We want to launch you. But what if that person's scared by this launch thing? Okay, but what's the worst case scenario with every new person? Get their first two, right? Wouldn't that, be the, wouldn't that be the worst case scenario in my mind? Driving them to diamond first, first pay cycle would be the ultimate. That's no joke. You kidding me? But how about if I just got everybody to get their first two? And now I have two more people I could work with to see if they want to launch. And I put one person out of the two, they each get one. Now I'm working down those two, those people. Follow me? Hopefully it's right there. Most people on this call, you're the right ones. So I've stopped with 92, you see? So I'm taking my time. But I want you guys to be able, when you sit down with people, I'll show you that in a second, and we talk about it all the time, to find out what you really got. Because once you get people in and you get them connected, allows you to find out more about the person you're going to be working with to see if they can launch. I know we keep saying the word launch, but not everybody is qualified for a launch. Some people just want to go, you know what? I'm going to introduce you to two people. Okay. But I want people to know what they're, what's available to them. Our team calls, the event calendars, I want them to understand the value of what they bought. And it's way beyond the six helos they bought with their premium pack. I want you to think about what this is worth on your screen. What would it be worth for somebody to be part of team calls, event calendars, daily and weekly webinars, personal group and coaching, right? An unbelievable back office support. What's that worth? See, I'm, I, I'm, I want to make sure people understand the value of what we have. Because I don't want anybody ever waking up and saying, you know what? The system wasn't there for me. I'm going to take that excuse away from them. I want them to look in the mirror if something's not right. Because Jeff's going to be here every morning at 7. Lisa's going to be here. Whoever's doing these calls, they're going to be here. This is going to go off. So they can't say, well, those things are so, that sometimes they go on, sometimes you can't count on them. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, I'm showing a system. Tonight, six o'clock, go to my Facebook. I'm going to say it again. I ask everybody to do this. Share that. That's the next big event is tonight at six o'clock. You got people in your funnel. You should be contacting all of them saying, get on this webinar. What's that worth? I want people connected. I know the game. I could care less the volume. If I get people connected, the volume will come. That's what I want. And then you have to understand, right, when you do these things and you get people doing it with you, right, you allow people to climb the ranks. Look at everybody. Everybody look at the rank. Now I'm going to ask you again now to use your chat. What rank? Let's make a commitment right now. What rank will you hit this pay cycle? Put it out there. Put it out there. What rank will you hit this pay cycle? That's what I want to see. Good. 
I'll look at this after this is over. Okay, but this is for you, not for me. And then now you're working towards your goal because you made a commitment. I will be a gold. Do you think that's bad? No. Are you kidding me? I will be a platinum. You know platinum's no joke. Doing $5,000 in your pay leg? But don't say this. Let me help you with this one. Don't say you've never hit gold, but you're telling me right now you're going to be president. I want you to set realistic expectations for you. Unless you have the group. I know who has the group to go president. I know who has the group to go diamond. Everybody with no group should be able to hit diamond. And I'm not saying that should be your goal. You might be platinum. I'm going to, I'm going to celebrate all the people that set a goal and hit it. I'm going to celebrate everybody who set a goal, who made the effort to achieve it. That's still not failure. You got to get your head right, guys. Setting a goal and doing nothing is failure. Not even trying is failure. You can't possibly try and fail. You can't. It's impossible because just the trying was success. And I want you guys to know that. I want you to find your little successes. That's what this is all about. And challenging yourself and going through some of the pain. Because as we go back, right, you're willing to develop this, the, the, the success mindset of any successful person. That's what this is. Look, I, I, I'm just watching the numbers come up. So it was 31 with people who put their desire. Now we're up to 36 who've made a commitment to themselves to say, here's where I'm going to be. Hey, guys, we're batting, we're batting our, 30, our 300%, right? If you hit 300 in, the, in, in, the, in, the, um, in major leagues, you're a multi, multi, multi-millionaire if you hit three out of 10. Right, Pete? Right? There's, a, there's an ex-player, okay, catcher. He knows the numbers. So uh, seven out of 10 times you're, get, you're, you're, you're striking out or you're, you're grounding out. Or you, you're making an out seven out of 10 times. But you're still a multimillionaire. Think about that. Put this in perspective. Well, Jeff, I talked to three people and nobody did it. This is not working. Keep swinging. Keep swinging. Here's the good news. You're in the big leagues. What's that worth? You made the big leagues. What? No. What now? Oh, what is that? What is that saying? Oh, yeah. Let me ask you a question. Somebody uses a, somebody used their chat. Who knows if I said, have you made the Facebook club, what that means? If you made the face, Facebook club, okay, you are doing the business. Who knows what Facebook club means? My daughter's in the Facebook club. Facebook jail. You got it. <laughs> Christy has it. You, you've been shut out of Facebook because you're sending out too many text messages. Just for 24 hours. <laughs> if you're on Facebook and you use Facebook and you haven't been in Facebook club, you, you haven't sent out enough text messages. They put you in Facebook jail. It's true for 24 hours. Okay. See, look at Ben there, done that. Yep. A couple of times. <laughs> Someone had it in LinkedIn. <laughs> look, at had two weeks out <laughs> past Sunday. Yes. Yeah, see, these guys are working. Facebook jail is a good deal. Okay, I love it. You guys, love you guys. It's 7.45, um, day two. Let's go to work. See you guys tomorrow morning. Appreciate all of you. Thank you. Yay.